stone. That's what you wanted, right? Nicky with that form, nigga. Little do, do they know I got the pesos. Yeah. Little do, do they know I got the say so. Yeah, yeah. Little do, do they know I give a fuck about a trick. Little do, do they know I came from nothing to rich. I hear them screaming, run, run. in his eyes when you see him, man, eh? You can lose that bread, don't lose that love, eh? 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 Don't lose it, Strong will won't bend nor fall. Ooh. Ooh. Little nigga, but I will stand tall. <laughs> Bricks on my back like a laborer. Yeah. I serve it up like a caterer. Yeah. We all about love and you hating us. <laughs> Bread's hard and they don't know. Red bone, she won't go. Best she leave when the bread go, go. I remember waking up at night, thinking where mama at. Yeah. Grabbing Bobo out the bed, yeah. looking for her in the dark. Grabbing Bobo out the bed. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like pitch time. Hey. Clock in, all right? Clock in. And clack up, because We want to know where you're pitching from. Oh. Tell us the city. Speak I heard, city. I heard a song, and I forgot it. I should have saved it, but there was like a line saying, like, I woke up today to get the bag, and I thought it would be a good sound bite. Why didn't... Why it's wouldn't you It's made, even better you recall yeah, right. <laughs> finding a sound bite. That would have been cool. Fire. Yeah, sorry. Why don't you make the sound? Yeah. <laughs> well... What's up, what the fuck tears? <laughs> What's up, what the fuckers? What the fuck, buddies? What the fuck of tears? We got co-op coffee in the house. If you want that big diarrhea blast, and we have Mailchimp sponsoring. Okay, folks, let's start the show. Bam, uh, bam, 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 bam. And then he starts to noodle some right. Some shitty blues noodling. Can we, yep. get the, can we get the volume? A volume check on. The, uh... Oh yeah. Cut the music for this. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we, are we ready? All right. I want to know if the people in the chat are just there to fucking link and build or ready to Walter, send some ideas. This, a, this whole show is about link and YouTube link just for you. Well, oh, in the in the thing, I need mm -hmm. it. Thank yeah. you. It's, it's it's one person that does it for me all the time. Oh, it was B and J. Shout out B and J. He's not usually the person, but always shout out B and J. Um, <clears throat> I'm piped up today, so. <laughs> Bear witness to a fucking witness. coffee anxiety for you. Oh, fuck. Um, I've got a rant though. <gasps> I was just telling Jordy. I was popping Damn off rant. on Jordan. I, can I go grab some, Jordy? No, I need you here for this. What do you mean? What do you gotta well, do? I, I wrote down some stuff and I realized I left it on my. Go get office. it. Right. I just want to uh, mention that I like when Eric calls the laptops machines. Mm -hmm. Your machine. Because it's it's very alpha of him. He walks around the studio. I never thought of it that way, but with his sure. back like fully on flex, he's like, "Give me the machine," and he's plugging in shit, teching out the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> plugging my uh, BC Rich Warlock into it. Damn, I don't even know what that is. Go go <laughs> off, tech man. Damn, the tech's fire over there. Um. No. I just have a little bit of a a ramble because I'm I'm a little pissed off. And I need you to know this because Big Little Lies, who's mm -hmm. watching? Yeah. HBO. Now that we work for HBO Max, we get to weigh in, right? <laughs> Cuz we're employed I basically work on Big Little Lies. We need a HBO Max button. The last episode should have just been an episode itself. I mean, the I'm last few minutes of that. The last sure. few minutes of the episode should have been a whole episode by itself. Is Instead, that not open when you I'm sitting around in my pissing shit mm -hmm. waiting mm -hmm. for something to friggin' pop off, mm -hmm. okay? You know what I mean? I'm sitting here. What? What is this streaming? You're using my time and, most importantly, my data mm. to not just <laughs> deliver to his machine. Cam was they, they to use. my machine. You There's have my satisfying. social security number, okay? And you're just selling it and not giving me Adam Scott punching dude in the nose? Why is that not happening? Why isn't Adam Scott being alpha? He rides a bike with a helmet. He, he should be able to deliver they, an elbow they use, to um, homie. They use your data 
like from what you watch and then mix it with like a van sneakers sole to make a fire weed strain. <laughs> you know, they use your data, your dad, Walter hey, Newman hey, Sr. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> they use Walter's father to uh, <laughs> deliver the um, parental controls to your watching experience. My dad lets everything ride. Yeah, I know he does. Classically, Walter's dad also has a potty mouth. Yeah, he does. So he, I what do you mean? Uh, like, also mean like you do. I don't have that type of mouth. Yeah, you do. You say you your dad a lot of adult situations. I never was banned from watching anything. Damn. My whole life. I was watching like Rambo. He was, was banned like five, from the starting four. five because he could Come never make the line. Damn. <laughs> Always just... started. Always Come. started. All right. <laughs> All right. So well, I wrote okay. down some stuff just in case we just have a, a lag. Uh. Ooh. I'm just telling you. Uh -huh. We got, got a lot to talk about. We got we got Migo song to talk about. Mm -hmm. I mean, this show, we not even shouldn't take pictures today because we have so much gas. Right. Um, should, we, should we tell him what it is? What it is. Bag? Bag time. You, we got 500 banderinos, half a rackadoo up for grab oh, I, gotta, I gotta put something clever in here. And oh. you're able to get it because we're, we're out here supporting ideas. All right? So pull up and hop out already <laughs> with a good idea. I think the phone lines are blazing hot. Mm -hmm. They were. When I walked out there... It's fucking non. It's call center style. Right. We got a lot of callers off CBD this time too. Relax. We need we need callers off. Maybe do a cappuccino before you call today. Five hundred dollars. We're giving away. It's been a minute since we. We weren't. You know, we're doing like the normal show because chat yeah. was down. Chat was down. Then right. Cam was gone. Blake was mm -hmm. here. And then Fourth of July. It's and been like a back. month. And we're back. Damn. So the bag's ready to be had. Let's, uh, should we, uh, should we, uh, should we do it? Should we, um, um? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, um, do it. Hello. Hello. What's up? Will you, uh, turn down your background volume? Gotcha. Thank you. I'm still hearing background. No, Is that me. from someone's computer? Let me make sure it's that's not me, but, All right, I can... Might be me. Okay, I've, I've cut everything off. All right. What's going on? You got a pitch? Um, I do have a pitch, gentlemen. Thank y'all for uh, letting me come on and share my world with you guys. Let's uh, do my it. name is Sean Lark. Stand-up comedian by trade, uh, also a writer at CBS. Um, the name of my show is Off the Chain. It's a 20-minute live-action single cam huh. uh, mockumentary reality show filmed on a slave plantation in the 1800s. Damn. Uh, yeah. You said, you, you said uh, it, it's set in, in it's set, it, this is a period piece or this is like today? It's it's a period oh, piece, oh, yes. Right. It's, a, it's a reality show on a slave plantation in the 1800s. Our characters can break the fourth wall. Uh, they can talk to the camera. They do confessionals. Mm. Uh, only the slaves, slaves only talk like slaves when white people are around. Other than that, they talk like we're talking right now. Got it. Uh, yeah. Um, our main our main characters are one played by myself is uh, is Toby. He's a, a trained thespian actor from London. Um, he has been uh, on Broadway for a twelve week run of Othello when he's stolen away and brought down to the Jackson plantation. And of course, he's having trouble adjusting to being a slave after being, of course, a free European. Um, our other new, new buck is called Kanuku. He's a buck. From Africa, he's brought on to impregnate the females, and of course, he's extremely uh, serious about his job. Um, Mr. Jackson, uh, the plantation owner, he decides to farm rutabaga instead of cotton and tobacco, which this investment has left his him virtually broke, and is the reason he's losing control of the plantation and his family, especially his son Sebastian, who thinks he's black and has continued to and has to be continuously reminded that he is not a slave. And uh, his girlfriend is a, is a female that, slave who is using... I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, so what type of situations they get in? Because, like, it's a... It's kind of a unique concept. Right. Like, the question is, like, how funny can you be going into slavery? Like, so... I, and, and look, we don't do a lot of, like, reality parody thing. We don't do reality period. And, like, the reality parody right. thing is never... I mean, it just doesn't... Reality is so... 
I'm watching Love Island right now. It's fuck. Shout out to the Love Island crew out there. You wanted to uh, talk about it, yeah. but it came up from myself. <laughs> you brought it up, <laughs> but, but 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 reality TV gets Enjoy so it. crazy. So you have added another level of crazy by saying it's in slavery times and this and that. But like, I'm curious, like, what type of stories you're, you're thinking? It says of? here he's got a trailer. Oh shit! You should have yeah. Stop talking. Cut the yeah. shit. Yeah. Let's see this. Talking. Where's this trailer at? Um, now I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little computer illiterate. It is in my um. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out myself. Be honest with you. So All right, it let is me, in my. Uh, will you let account. me screen uh, uh, screen time into your computer? <laughs> All right, <laughs> we we go we gonna need to see. You gotta figure out how to get the trailer. If you drop it, yes, we'll, we'll yes, play I, it. You I know what I'm saying? It. But we but we can't hold. Yeah. We can't YouTube hold up. link, anything like that. We can't hold it up the show, waiting for the. For yeah, the yeah. Do I do I would I need like a Mac to do this or can I do this on my iPad or phone? All right, you can do it we anywhere. gonna let you go. We're not, you can do it. Yeah, anywhere. yeah, no, no, you got you got to Google and figure I that should, out. Uh, right? Chat, hey, Bye. listen, help him out, chat. Yeah, uh, I support the honesty. That was. That was crazy. But you should you could Google and figure that out. You could, he said he didn't know if you needed yeah, a Mac, so I guess that, maybe that type of... Like, this ain't 411. The question doesn't this ain't mean that you might not know what Google is. This ain't 911. <laughs> 311. All right. This ain't 311. Let's do another. But he is on the board. <laughs> Derek liked it. I know. I don't. Okay, let's do another one. Everyone's scared to make a joke because it's not slavery. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to make any joke. I was not making a joke. <laughs> Apparently, Cameron Eric loved um... it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, caller? You got a pitch? Yeah, I got a pitch right Are you here. in the uh, Adult I... Swim chat? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Do you got a link are. you want to show us? Yeah, right now. Here's Fire it off. Yeah, Cam, take Cam. control. Alpha, yeah, Alpha, Alpha Cam, Cam, Cam has showed up. He's in the white and gold. You. It's over. You're you the Shat Johnson. Yeah, oh, and Shat it's, Johnson. It's link. That's his name. <laughs> Shat. Shat. Yeah. Okay. Like past tense. It's of the shit. pitch link right there. Got it. You got it. All, All right. right. Basically, uh, this show is called Slouch. Uh, do you guys often get pitches for alien shows? I've only seen this. No, never. You're. You might be one or two. So this is good. Oh. Yeah. Well. Anyways, I got a show about aliens. Not just aliens. It's like a it's a whole thing. They're shape shifting aliens and they're uh, influencing people through media and such and celebrities and politicians. They made humans for food and entertainment. Uh, three main characters: Sue Chef, he's an alien assassin sent to kill Earl. Earl's the boy in the blue hoodie, and then Baja the goat. He's a goat made by the aliens, and he uh, can eat anything. All right. Is yeah, it, uh, we got a episode link up there. Is it, he was made by the aliens, the goat, but the goats, regular goats could eat anything, right? That's true. Uh, well, he, keep hearing he can, something? He's got like a universe in his stomach, I'd say. Oh, shit. Okay. Honey, where did we park the car? Honey? Consume for plume indeed. <laughs> Welcome, intergalactic citizens. I'm Pub. And I'm Mitzi. We're the hosts of the 72nd Plume Olympics. Sure got a lot of talent this year. 7,889 contestants. Looks like they're being launched already. All of the players are followed by cameras, and using the Olympics app, free to download on the App Store and Google Play, you can watch your favorite players, check on the stats, instant death replays, and bet to win. I've already put a bet on number 5,109, a quantum orangutan from Mars with over 10,000 confirmed kills and recently married his boyfriend. <laughs> yep, he sure is one twisted piece of shit, unlike me. I'm 10 days sober and have truly never felt better. We're using a city from Earth as their arena, an 18 mile diameter that will slowly crumble Let's get as to the some game main characters here. Yeah. Art's cool, kind of looks like pickles a little bit. That face. Since when can you do that? I added it into the scripts to make me seem cooler. Well, piss out my ass. I forgot my backpack at the entrance. Wait, there was a whole militia in that bag. Is that the Plenty of Pennies, Pretty Pennies billboard? We're in hell. 
Michigan. I really like this flower. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to get enough from the f clip uh, and the amount of time I think it yeah, probably I, need. Like, that was kind of cool. The backgrounds are interesting. Um, I will say I didn't love the voice work. I thought, I thought, I don't know if that, is that you? Sure. Uh, the, for the sock puppet guy? For the news guy, I mean, look, I'm being an asshole, but I didn't in, like the voice work. So I guess, what, what is the show? Why were we watching Day to Day? Uh... Well, basically, it's just like uh, it's kind of a passion piece for me, really. I really like uh, just how it runs. Yeah, the characters. It's kind of setting up like the lore for perhaps maybe even like a, a sitcom star in the main three. Got it. Okay. Well, sweet art. Yeah, it kind of makes sweet, more sense sweet. if you start at the beginning. Yeah, no, I mean, we will. Uh, but this, the art looks, looks great, and um, we'll check it out. Thanks for calling, man. Okay. You're on the board. You. No problem. Mm -hmm. For sure. Probably at the top of the board at this on point. On the board, for sure. Even Let's the log line, I feel like, could have been a little clearer. I am the big idea. I, yeah, it's just tough. Like, what? I don't know. I would I like really to know, know what I'm yeah. watching, but maybe oh. the thing uh, answers that. I also, <laughs> you know, I just want to say, if you're going to pitch um, or show stuff, it's a good idea to sort of, like, let us know what the what main characters we're we're following instead of like, you know, context bits. I think you know mm -hmm. we just I think ultimately you're watching a show because you want to love these guys mm. and girls and whatever gender. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you turn on TV, you're like, who can I love? Yeah. Who can I? Love? I think you're looking for love in the wrong place. Or I'm looking for something friggin' fucked up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another call. Hello. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. Hi. How are you? My you uh, you got a pitch for us? I absolutely do. All right. Do do. Yeah, I'm actually getting the uh, I'm getting the uh, the link right now to drop to you for the uh, for the Bible. Oh man, we'll just hold tight. <laughs> We're not doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 You definitely are. You are, definitely are. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Google. We surprised him. No, actually, didn't. Uh, uh, Google Docs. I just really wonder, high. like, if you're calling a show to pitch uh -huh. and you're just like, I'm just gonna wait until they answer and then decide at the moment whether I'm gonna be ready or not. Like, it baffles me. It I, seems like it's the more than I feel more like, than anything. I know it must be <laughs> right. daunting to just be sitting there at times and like waiting to get clicked in, but come on, man, let's get your shit together. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to actually drop the Google Docs oh, into the man. side. Thing. Which which chat are you on the Adult See, Swim chat? I'm not doing chat? this. I'm not I know, doing this. I know. You, you we got to do another one. We got to, we got to, we got to. Hey, the judge is Oh, there it is. Is that it? Hold on. I think that might be it. <laughs> oh, Jordy says it's too late. The judge has already spoke. Mm -hmm. Jordy, too late. Jordy said to drop him, so I dropped him. Hopefully we can but tell click Nalani. On, click on it. I think it. I can think we tell that's Nalani it. like if like can we ask these callers if they're ready? This is just a shit the show. We have. I mean, I think, we, dro I think he dropped she it. She has in like the a whole thing chat. of like be prepared. Yeah. Click, click on the on sandwich it. one. Is this him? But we though? don't even know who. I want him to talk. Uh, he might need. Uh, he might need to kind he of. He did say be it was a the... Google Doc. I I don't want to look at someone's picture. They don't want to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Do we drop him or do we put him? Jordy, you You said to drop him. I did not say to drop him. You dropped the gavel on his ass. Not at all. I said I asked him if he was on the adult. That's all. Get get yourself a glass of milk. I want my own soundboard as well. I need to start. There it is. It's right there. No, I don't want that one. All right, let's do another. All right, caller, are you ready? And I mean, by are you in the Adult Swim chat? Do you have links already? This I is have part a link why, already. Why come out the jacket. I have a link ready. It just it's not letting me get through. I don't know what the heck's oh, going on. Oh fuck! For Christ's are you in, sake! Are you in the YouTube chat? Or Maybe are you this in the, is the our bad. Chat? I went on the YouTube chat. Well, you gotta oh, go to the fuck. adult swim chat. We, we only take the pictures through I the mean, adult swim chat. I don't know what's I going on. I even tried getting on your chat. I tried getting on your chat as well. It just and it they didn't let you in. Out. Well, then that no. means you, that means you might be. Uh, Are you in Safari? A criminal? And still having trouble logging. Safari yeah, they check in. your criminal yeah. record before you get <laughs> into if the you're chat. A criminal, we yeah, don't I'll let you in Safari. Chat. I'll drop it any way you guys want me to drop this link. I got the link. Ready I want right you to now. drop you it have, like it's hot. Do you okay? have any? I don't think this is. Do you have work. any felonies? Put them on hold. 
It seems like your criminal try, past. Uh, try is... Chrome. I, Chrome worked for I me. I love you so guys, and really I, wanna, I, I really want to drop this for you guys, man, because I think you're really going to like it. <laughs> That's tough. All right, well, you got to figure out how to drop it. But we'll we come back to talk, We've been talking about people Chat, dropping links out, for half the show. Yeah. It's literally 525, right, take 26, <laughs> 23. and we haven't had one. I, this is, I know it's fast. Oh, this fast. All right, let's go. Dennis Craig for like hello. 10 minutes because the clock was fast <laughs> on Tuesday. Hello, caller. Hey, how's it going? Hey, are you are you ready to pitch us? Uh, are you in the Adult Swim chat? Do you have links? Yeah, I'm about to control V and paste it in right now. See that? Hey. Here we go. We must have a millennial Monday. on the phone. What do we got here? A Gen I've, Z I've going off? Pretty yeah. Shout out Gen Z. <laughs> Shout it's out to the me. Gen Z. They're going to... We found out a, a really uh, important fact about Gen Z. They're going to the malls. Mm -hmm. The sources say they go to brick and mortars. Mm hmm all What's right, your, everyone. Uh, Thanks for coming to the meeting. As you know, we've taken on some new detainees. And you're probably also aware that our decisions here will be judged nationally. So for starters, I just want to open it up to questions. How's everything going in there? Uh, there's like a bunch of kids in here. It's true we've seen an increase in non-adults. The kids, like, don't have any hygiene products or toys. I'm aware of this concern. We're prepared to tackle both issues immediately. That's why we want to issue the kids a toothbrush to play with. One of you is going to have to donate the toothbrush, though. This Preferably is not the right one video, you've already used. We're yeah, I don't, this is not the right video. For our recycling no. initiative. Is there, I see, that's like, why some kind of long... Was, you gotta be careful. Was dropping, Check the name. Yeah, you guys, guys better... What the fuck? What's, his, what's your name, dude, on the chat? Hello. I'm Skeleton69. Thank you. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> You just read them the riot act for fucking All right, up. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they That's can't get those read in. That's just hot. Control I'm your sorry. media, bro. All right, skeleton I don't even know where you found <laughs> that link. Let's uh <laughs> confused. let's um start over here. My name's Cameron. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This is you're on the show All now. Right. I was okay, hot, yeah. I was anxious, I wanted to I wanted to be violent. Hmm. So now it's your turn. Take us through it. Okay. Uh, so, Skeleton Landlord, we got a uh, YouTube link there for the pitch, but it's about a uh, landlord who's a skeleton, his <laughs> maintenance man, and their tenants. All right. What part of the pilot should no, you start no, from no, the beginning? No, 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 no. I'm just you, kidding. You never... <laughs> use, use, use! You can, you can start from the top and see how, okay. see how you feel about it, at least... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's both go! Yeah! Wow! Wee! Next one's mine! Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna be next. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Who is it? Hey, it's me, Mr. Skeleton. Well, come in, Mark. I was just rocking out with my boy, <laughs> sweating it out, really busting a nut on stage. <laughs> busting a nut? Sir, I think you mean breaking a sweat. <laughs> Yeah, baby, busting a nut. You know, slipping and sliding on those wet white ropes, tossing ropes on my fans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mark. I was playing my Rocker Hero game on the computer. Now, what did you need to see me for? It's about the tenants in 6C. Ooh, 6A. Oh, those kids are so cool. Really cool, cool kids. Man, they seem so hip to the scene. I, mean, I need to hang out with them more. Well, they've missed their rent 12 months in a row. I think it's time to evict them. Evict? Well, that's a little harsh. Hmm. Say, Mark, let me go have a word with him personally. You take the day off. The day off? Sir, <laughs> that's, that's my birthday. It's the first time you've ever let me have my birthday off. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. I love that he's got a ponytail. It's like a wet slick. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Trim, who the fuck is it? <laughs> it's the landlord. Hey. Hey, 
Yeah, so I was wondering if I could maybe sort of get some rent from you guys. Tell that old loser to buzz off. Um, yeah, we don't have it. Look, can I just come in and we can talk about this? <laughs> yeah. I want to keep watching this. So, I really, I saying, really, really do. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's the voice of the skeletons. A plus. It's kind of a <laughs> play up a Skeletor, right? A little bit. Nah, it's funny. The voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, and by the way, your your, your sound mix and design. A one. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. This I, well, I, I already like whatever. Well, I. It'd be tough to, for you to get beat today, the, I think. The, the net's already been busted, is that what you're saying? The ropes have been shot, <laughs> and we are <laughs> slipping and sliding. Mm. As in your words, we are, um, I, what, what's your, what, what do you, what, huh? <laughs> well, uh, I'm here with Doug, who's the voice of the skeleton. He also plays Mark, the uh, maintenance man. We, come, tell and, him, uh, I want to hear him on the phone I doing did, that uh, voice. Yeah, let's do that voice. Yeah, here, do some skeleton for him. Hey, here we go! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's real deal. No, no yeah. auto tune needed. No, no, that was that was all pure, like straight. He, we actually live recorded all of him screaming, and his voice was rasped by the end of it. But, but uh, we spent a long time, you know, doing all the CG, and we we put all our folks on the green screen and had a had a good time. But a lot of meticulous time after work in our spare time, just piecing it together. But this uh, this is great. Are you guys in like a, a sketch tune? You guys do comedy, or like, are you just uh, make an art uh you could we have the uh the skeleton realm uh youtube channel that that's on has a few other videos we made and it's basically doug and i just kind of he's always on camera and we're just kind of making uh goofs but this is our longest most of the stuff we do really rapidly this is the one where we're like yeah let's spend forever making something well look, there might be something more for us to do with this like either take what you've made and 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 pay you to put it on our YouTube or we can watch the rest and see if there's more but this is this is one of the better things we've seen on here I think in a while Absolutely. yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm definitely very very intrigued I'm gonna rip through the rest of this video and your page but yeah let us let us think on it um, we're gonna put you up top number one blue That's pretty, I think that pretty much locks off the number one slot yeah, I don't, mm -hmm. and it might lock off it. all the money for, for yeah. sure <laughs> remember that song Lock Arf? how yes. long did this take you guys to to make what was your timeline? Uh, we actually we spent a year of spare time making it from the sh time we shot it to the time where we finished and put it on YouTube. Uh, we were spending like Saturdays and sometimes, you know, skipping it. And I was learning Cinema 4D and stuff like that. But where are you guys um, geographically? We're in Atlanta, right Perfect. in the center. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, this is Thanks. great. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're going to put that you up is... top. Oh, um, cool. Thanks oh, so much. We huh? have email contact. Oh, yeah. We have your yeah. YouTube stuff. So we'll. Mm -hmm. Cool. Did, did it, did, was it just big idea or did it say, I am the big I know it says. I am the big idea. But then we cut it to the. I can't remember. Anyway, it, was, again. it wasn't uh, diced correctly. Mm. Damn. Well, I like it. Daddy likey. In the words of, uh, <laughs> never mind. Mm. <laughs> I, was gonna, mm -hmm. I was just gonna slay Queen. Mm. Um, let's do another one. Uh, hey, <clears throat> are you ready to Hello? pitch? Yes, I'm ready. I got the link right here. In the ch in the Adult Swim chat. Uh, yes. All right. Not Sober. Sure. I got a TikTok Wait, what's notification. What's your username? Um, Comrade Camboy. Nice. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, we're gonna play it. Oh, sorry. Did you want to set this up, or you got a Bible, uh, or, or do, you, do, you, do you guys just want to watch it, and then I can talk about it afterwards? Well, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, so it'll just, I guess, give us uh, a little bit of uh, context on what this is, and okay. Um, the main characters uh, are on a YouTube channel where they make docu series. And uh, the pilot starts it uh, starts where um, it's been a long, it's been a while since they came out with their last uh, you know video, and um, they end up finding their their new doc idea by the end of the episode. Okay, is there a place that we should scrub to to 
I would say, so we spend, I try to fit a lot of exposition in this like 12 minutes. So it, it really like probably starts from the beginning. It's very plot driven and character driven. Oh no, okay. This one, this Give one it a Mike spin. Cernovich conspiracy theorist type bit. Yeah, but Mike Cernovich does have some pretty cool swag though. Oh shit, is that a fire? Oh shit. Where? Brands arguing on Twitter. Already seen it. Oh, sure. You gotta take a shit. Come on, man, I got shit. Hey, I'm already shitting, dope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got an idea right here. Um. What if we do a doc about a psychological and cultural analysis of the online incel community? That could be good. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is about identity groups, this is about conflict, this is about sex. People love this shit. Yeah, whatever, it's trash. Well, uh, what about a sociological investigation on the conspiracy theorist community? Oh, that? I really gotta take a shit. Well, what I'm... Come on, Andy, hurry up. Andy, finish up in there. I am finishing, man. Hurry up. Andy, open up. Yeah, I, I fucking... I know. Okay. What the fuck did I just say in? Uh, uh, snot. It's not. Cool. Uh, do you have like a doc? What the fuck? <laughs> um, no, not really. Uh, that's okay. Um, well, we'll watch the rest. It seems like okay. Um, you guys didn't even get to like uh, cause it's it's very expositional, but you guys didn't get to the um uh, commercials, which is kind of might be the funniest part. It's just it's just about not even two minutes in, barely about. You're, you're is this right like, is this like uh about. what we call guys hanging out? Mm -hmm. No, um, we, I, of course, I, would, I want uh, a female main character, even multiple. Um, uh, we actually had some. Uh, Jordy uh, we just had literally threw punk rock <laughs> horns. She threw. Yeah, hey, was. I the, was, yeah, the I was asking, it wasn't about it being all guys. I was just like, is this just a show about them hanging out? Is more of my question. Oh, well, um, at first, they like, they're, they start out like they, they don't have a lot of money. Um, so, and at, they're. It, we're limited to just the house because we don't have a lot of production. Um, we actually, for example, we have a scene that like this funny scene that's in a pet store, but we can't just like rent out a pet store or in a pet store. You get what I'm saying? Can you so get a, can you get a pet? Pilot's really restricted to just the house. You yeah, no, we get it. We get it. Rogue. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, man, I, I'm was, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. I, you know, I don't know if this is like the best fit here at Adult Swim. I don't know if we like do the guys hanging out thing. If you guys have like sketch commercial to things that sort of feel like Tim and Eric. Um, you know that that help it kind of break out of the guys hanging out. It might might land, it's but not um, just the guys hanging out. Um, that just a pilot. Okay, so hey, let me, let me just finish. I'm gonna we're gonna watch the rest okay, of this, sorry. but for for today, like you know, I think um we'll we'll put you on the board. If there's a room on the board, let's put them on the board. Well, here's the current board. Cool. Uh, uh, I'm not taking slouch off. What's off, off the, the chain again? It's this the, the slavery uh, uh doc. Uh, reality. Well, he yeah. can fall off because he, yeah, he, he didn't show the, up. The, the thing. All right, well, you're third place. Thanks for calling. We're going to check the rest of this out. <clears throat> pitch contest, you're in third place. Mm. <laughs> Bad pitch contest. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we should get Let's, two chains to do that for us. Yeah, he'd come in and want to eat like a $1,000... A hundred thousand dollar hamburger. He's all or about. Oh, everything's expensive. Everything I do is rich. Yeah, Every time I fucking get in my whip, I have the air conditioning that costs fifty k mm. to blow on my face. I could ball two chains up. I'm pretty sure because mm. he like plays ball. I think he might have went D one, but I'm fairly certain I could just take his ankles. <sighs> fucking in and out, know. in and two across. I've seen him shoot. He also has height. This. He looks stiff. 
He couldn't. I, I would say for yeah, you I being five eleven, he could really Who waste. Who's five eleven? Two more I'm feet six on feet you. tall. First of all, <laughs> did you guys see like Walter <laughs> at the um, bagel shop this week? Uh, Y'all are rude. What do you mean? He said that you he's not your. You're not my dad, or you're my not my boss, and you're not my god, and you're not my god. That's what Walter is on this week. Yeah. Damn. All right, let's do another one. I really want to watch the skeleton shit, though. I'm going to be honest. I know. I know that you just want to watch the skeleton, which... Me, too. I get it. But we got to watch other things. True. What's going on? Hey, caller, are you on? Hi. Are you on 1,000? I'm 2,000. Okay. Do you have uh, yeah. your pitch ready to go in the adult swim chat? Yeah. Let's get it. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so basically, it's like uh, Aquatine Hunger Force, except with anthropomorphic drugs instead of anthropomorphic food. Damn, and, we, uh, you know, you know, we have Aquatine Hunger Force. I know you have. Yeah, I know. I was just making but, sure. So yeah, it's derivative. I, I'll admit. <laughs> um, now you're talking my language. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, they'd meet in a the drugs would meet in a police evidence locker. And then they try to get out, but then they'd always end up back in the locker by the end of the episode. Hmm. Pretty much. That's it. every episode. Yeah, Chris Paul just got traded for Russell, Russell well, Westbrook. Well, I, I mean, let's hang this guy up. I, I, guess, I, guess, wow. I guess the variation would come from where they, like, how far they get. Well, and I think that uh, we have they, someone. Please. Jordy made you a. A tag for the end of your short mm. if you don't have video. No, I don't. I don't know, I don't know if you're watching. Mm -hmm. It's on delay, too. So. Oh. Um, yeah, I. That's not good. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for calling, man. Let's take another one. He, hmm? CP3. Russell West P three for Russell Westbrook. Harden and West, um, the Harden Pistons didn't trade for him. Westbrook so I'm, I'm reunited. No one wanted to go to Detroit. They'd rather yeah, go to no. Oklahoma City. Oh, he's they don't in want Houston. Anybody yeah, now do. Westbrook Ooh. is in Houston. That's Team back up dangerous. with Harden. They had to do something. They had to shake it up. Are you are you a Rocket? Are you from Houston? No, that was uh, someone's on the line. That was oh that was my phone. <laughs> I've seen a lot of yeah, horns and this today. He's from Baltimore. They I'm. Uh, yeah. What's the basketball team in Baltimore? Uh, the the jailbirds. The non-existence. The the Baltimore non-existence. Mm. Or do we have someone on? Damn this gift. You should. Hey, caller. Scary. Nope. Asleep. Hello. Asleep at nope. the oh, hey. Hey. So Just you in got time. That axe was closing in. <laughs> oh my <laughs> bad. I thought the wait was going to be a lot longer. All right, Damn. you ready to pitch? You're goddamn right I'm ready to pitch. Let's do it. Listen, my name is Sean Boston. I'm 20 years old. I do math for a living, and I live in a van down by the river. And I'm here today to bring you the very best pitch that you are going to hear tonight. I'm talking about a wholesome family tale for, for people of all ages. Listen, what people crave today is nostalgia. They want to go back to the past, and I'm here to bring you back to the past with a great family-friendly spin on an old tale. The little abortion clinic on the prairie. All right, listen, Laura, you know, she's a, she's a hard-working lady. Oh, her, her dad's on his deathbed dying of cholera, and her mom's all whacked out on opium and coke. So it's up to Laura and her little sister, Carrie, to run the family business. And by God, the business is booming. There's a brothel down the road, and it is rolling in like hot cakes. And so it's, you know, it's really a patriotic tale about how these two young young women were able to come together and, and rise above their circumstances to inspire all the people in their, in their town to, to do more for their community. It's a very wholesome tale. So it's like a workplace comedy with the family? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can call it a workplace. Yes. yes. All right. Well, you should do radio. Hmm. Yeah, Thank you should. You. you have a lot of good energy. Mm -hmm. I like it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You do too. 
Thank oh, you. A little connection. Yeah, should we should we hang out? <laughs> Can I give you <laughs> yeah, my number? Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks oh, yeah. for calling, man. <laughs> no problem. Y'all have a good one. You too. You not gonna give him any comments on that? I don't know what to say. I mean, I ran out of. Um, uh, let's see. What button do we have? TV fucking sucks nowadays. <laughs> it's <you> a go. fact. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Hello. Hi. Hi. You got a pitch today? Yeah, I do. Great. Let's let's okay, hear it. Okay, should I just enter enter it into the chat here? Yeah, or yeah, if if you have a link and you're signed into the Adult Swim chat, throw it in there. Yeah. Uh if you have you want to talk about it, we're all ears. I'm I'm big underwear time. Okay. Uh, big That's underwear really time. fucked up. That's, That's really fucked up of you. All right. Thank Officer you. Underwear. Yeah, so Officer Underwear, he's just this little police officer who's trying to do the best he can in uh, taking underwear illegally from Damn. everyone. Yeah. This is creepy. It's a little terrifying. <laughs> well, he's just a cute little jelly bean guy, you know? He just He just wants underwear. All right, we're going to run this. What does he want it for? I guess we'll find we'll out. Find out. Uh-huh. Police, hold it up. <laughs> Poopy butthole. Sir, do you have any underwear? Uh, no. I don't have any underwear. <laughs> then your underwear rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that was good. you know, right. was Jordy's good. fucking over it's, there. It's, it's done just, for me. That That's fun. her scolding landlord. I just did a front flip <laughs> off the chair. I was so uh-huh. excited. I'm I'm sorry. I, she knew. She I knew like, my le- weakness, and now. I like uh, I like what you're going for. Well, yeah. What 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 else is what else is to the show? Or is it more like a interstitial? It's a good interstitial. We should look well, at that just for an interstitial, by the way. Well, every every episode he takes underwear from a new victim. So first episode, he goes to the owner of a store called Fruit, and he has to figure out, if does he own underwear? Can he, can he, can he take it? Will it work? I don't know. Daryl's a really weird guy. Um, under character designs and concept art, there's Daryl. Um, he's the one in the, the tan button-up and the tie. Yeah, he looks sick. Thank you. Um, and then uh, episode two is called Jiguru. And in that one, he goes to a Japanese all-girls school. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, it's not a Japanese you know, girl school. It's actually bronies and sailor uniforms with huge badonkadonks. Okay, and, and here you call yes, them big yes. bouncing boobies. <laughs> is that what you're referring yeah. to? Got it. Yes, yes. Well, a badonka donk and big I'm, bouncy I'm, boobies are two I, different. I, that's things. what I was. I was mm-hmm. getting. It's getting. Yeah, I was. A badonka like donk is the, the rear is end. The re- yeah, the boob, boob. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, we'll we'll let that slide. Uh, my bad. <laughs> uh, so episode three, me underwears. So officer underwear. He's violently against vaccination. Um, he's posting on his Facebook anti-vax minion mom page, and he gets a message from. Jockstrap Terror Network, a terrorist organization with a jockstrap on the uniform. They have kidnapped all of his underwears. They are holding it hostage at gunpoint. <laughs> like Will Officer Underwear save his undies? And then episode four is, oh, I love garlic. And he gets to steal underwear from David Liebehart. And um, mm. he's actually a guy I met. I went to dinner with him. It was really weird. With David Liebehart? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I don't Oh, that is. Why does uh, this character want these underwears? It's, it's just I, I feel like everyone has kind of a thing they have that they just really like, and he, I don't even know if he necessarily has a reason. He just really likes underwear. He's just obsessed. This guy's a gosh darn pervert. That's yeah. he, pro- he should probably have a reason. Yeah, like in, if this is like a dete- like a drama, group, maybe you yeah, can like, get away with like this is the big mystery. His, but his family's hostage. I, I like your clip. I think it would work maybe as an interstitial. Yeah, so was, we we should we should 
put it up for that. But also, it could work as a small. I feel it feels mm-hmm. more of like an adult swim small thing. So we'll send it to our main man Dave Hughes and see what he thinks. But uh, I think you've taken some money. Mm-hmm. As, as at this point, I think you're in second. Who's sh- uh, she's I think she's kicking off? I think she's going into second place. She's kicking off the. Which one was Slouch? That's where we were. Slouch, Slouch was, was the alien. The alien. One What's thing? the gym boot? That was that the was guys hanging out. Guys hanging out. I think they're gone. I yeah. think I think she moves into second. Yeah. And Slouch goes to third. Cool. Well, congrats for that. Good banger stuff. Of a we'll, pun. we'll reach out to you. Underwear rest. Mm. Nothing can stop this. Your underwear rest. Mm. Yeah. That, that was kind of all that was going That'd for it, good. though, wasn't that, it? She should use that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You how should much get in this writer's room. Go. Maybe you can get in the writer's room. That was good. <laughs> Yo, With a there out. wasn't really Call like... Call my people if you need Come me on. in the room. So damn easy. Mm-hmm. See, something happened because I used to be able to stutter. You got, I just want to but I used to, we got to get it back to just big ideas. So I can go, big idea. Eric's machine is they, 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 will, they will listen to it <laughs> chat and chime in on everything we're saying when we don't want them to. But when I ask them to do something, they're not paying attention at all. Big idea. Okay. Should we take a call? Yes. Call. Hello? Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's a really Gucci? Man, I'm trying to pitch this show. That's what's up. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you have a link? All right, cool. Right now? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, cool. So um, my show is a show called Now Mula. It's a 15-minute cartoon action comedy and it's only one season there's nothing else after this this is a series about thomas he's a 27 year old unemployed virgin who leaves his potato famine stricken city for east bumble for west virginia and his six foot arms dealing drug selling misogynistic talking german cockroach roommate and if thomas can help Malmula conquer the underground bug world Malmula can help him get laid and paid Woo! okay mm-hmm. You want to, uh, I have, I, I've literally like uploaded my post a thousand times on this chat. So are, you should not have a problem. Are you in the adult swim it. chat? Yes. And my, my name right. is literally Tempera like a thousand times. So, did you say Tempera? Yes. T-E-M-P-R-A-H. Tempera. I don't see it in there. Send it again. Well, I will, I will link it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Link uh, it. Hundred times. I am all you, of the oh, time. There it is. Oh, I think we found I'm it. Oh, there it is. I like that you. Yeah, there it is. You must be from Britain. No, I'm from Atlanta. Oh, okay. Everybody from Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So okay. y'all want to read it, or y'all want oh, me to read it out? Because I uh, can't. Well, I don't want to read it. Um, oh, just give us the uh, give us the the beats of this outline. All right, so pretty much Thomas, he is from uh, Weeming, he's from Weemingheim, Idaho, and this city was devastated by the Great Potato Famine of 1948. After he couldn't get a job in any of the potato farms and he still couldn't lose his virginity, he packed up everything he had and spent his life savings on a mysterious bug-infested apartment. Now, Malmula, he's 29 years old, and he's a six-foot talking German cockroach with nipple piercings. And his DNA structure was severely altered along with every other insect in this, in this scientific lab in Chernobyl, in a Chernobyl explosion. And he also lives in a portal to the underground bug world. And after finding out that one of his girlfriends is expecting to hatch like 200 eggs, he loses his mind and he's like, I have to take over this contraband business in the bug yard. Well, now see, he has to overtake the bug yard. The bug yard is the underground cockroach-like mafia and they run everything in this bug world in this in this apartment like underneath it it's like an entire world this world has strip clubs hospital doctor's office all types of bugs from everywhere and accents included so if this bug is from mexico he has a mexican accent straight up and so the bug yad runs everything and there's shootouts but they have shootouts with like raid and now mula supplies all of this but he can't go out in public without people losing their mind, so he needed the human. And that's where Thomas comes in at. Mm. So episode one is somebody hand me a banana and some super glue. And this is about Thomas. He This is the first episode. He moves from Leaning High, Idaho, to East Bumblefoot, West Virginia. Episode two is these are some big-ass bugs. And this episode <laughs> pretty much explains the connection between Chernobyl and the existence of Mamula's world. 
And then the third episode is, did you just sprinkle crack on that? <laughs> this is when Thomas, Thomas meets my Moodle for the first time and he's losing his mind. We don't know if it's a lack of vagina. Is that a giant six foot talking cockroach with pierced nipples? We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Episode four, I need money. All right. All right. Um, I got to stop you. Um, but we're, we're going to, I'm going to read this pilot outline. Um, it's you, you yeah, a, lot, it's a lot to take in. It's mm-hmm. a lot to take in. Yeah. Sorry. I'm we sh- sorry. We kind of, no, no, no. It's no. not your fault. It's us. It's the show. It's, the show sucks. It's set up to um, make these things quick and put a little bit more uh, energy into it and effort. So we're going to read this. Thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 What's the name of it? Mamu. It made me think of... Uh, is Momoa, it? Jason Momoa. No, even though I saw he was trending. Yeah, cause yeah. Because he's he getting body shame. Bod. But uh, m- medulla oblongata. Yeah. M- oh yeah, like the part of your brain. Yeah, there's some rap lyric. I'll shoot you in your medulla oblongata. That's yeah. outcast. I used to like that. Does that was make that the board? No. Out- no. <coughs> nope. Nah, I think right. it was. It We're was. Stan Pat. Make me. Bo- make me board. I'm gonna check it out, but. So a lot of stuff we've Wait, we've Steve heard Brule? seen before. <laughs> Steve Brule now. Check it out. We should use that too. Right. Uh, hey, if you got any good fucking Someone sound, on him by the way, the hold on, here, you got any good sound bites for us? Send it in. If you got any songs that we can maybe use as an intro mm. or something like that, send that in. Yeah. Right now we're looking for Link beats. In the chat, that is. Um, who right. want to be premiered on here? Mm-hmm. Send some beats. This is if they're hot. They used to do little plug them in. bumps for our show. Oh, uh, people used it. to make little interstitials. That we would play cute. those. Yeah, that was cool. Mm-hmm. You're, ju- you're just trying to get told in the call in. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm talking more. Do about. we take? We got five minutes left. Let's take a quick one. If do we have a quick lightning one? round? We'll find out if they can do it quick. I remember our lightning round and how it never worked. Well, look, you got time. I got time today. Caller. That should be it. Hi. Hi. So check this out. How are you guys? We're good. We have five minutes left. Are you able to get All this right. off like quick to the point? Yes, I will. I will try my best. All right, let's do it. That's all we can ask. All right. So my ask. name is my name is Sarah. I'm King Butts in the chat. Um, I was at the first development meeting. What? Wait, um, wait. You guys. All right. Go ahead. Um, you guys said that I had potential. Um, I worked in New York City, and I'm New York City-based. I've worked in uh, VR, Leap Motion. I ran a um, I'm sorry you're taking up your time doing this. Yeah, are no, you, it's okay. Are you, I, I you were on you the first development meeting ever? Yeah, I just, like, you know, it was just a little bit too hectic, so I just kind of, like, lurked. Oh, okay. <laughs> like. Yeah. Um, like two years ago, you were on the first one. That was More like three years, years ago. ago. You always included for two. Yeah, I uh, I graduated in 2015. So, so you got you got like I two minutes to pitch your show now. I'm just making sure you're you reading notice. resumes. Okay, it. so um, so far I have um, a character concept for Rick and Morty. I see that there's a um, call out for that, um, and I think I have a good idea for an original character. You should tell us. Okay, so it's on um, it's on my Instagram. I tagged you guys um, and Adult Swim, and it it's called Spaghetti Dad. You gotta drop the link in the the chat. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What the fuck? Links in chat. It's getting some work. What's today. your name? It's the most handy. King so Butt. No, no, no. Like <laughs> real name. Sarah. My real name is Sarah McGrath. Okay, I feel like I remember. You don't. She yeah, just said she was in years. the chat. She, but she tagged she you guys. In. All right. Let's let's decide this bag. But there it is. It, it's in there. It's in there. But oh, we got it. Okay, which one is it? Second. <laughs> that second one? Second. What's this guy's name? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Meet mm-hmm. Spaghetti Dad. He's a shop owner with too yeah. much on his plate. Nice. Tag Justin. You should tag tag Justin Roiland in it, too. Thank you. So there really is a contest? I have never heard of it. Oh. <laughs> it might be a social media um, thing. Justin they, they might be doing dropped the link on yeah, Twitter say, last night. He oh, might cool. be doing something. Uh, yeah, he might be doing something. I like the art. I do like the art. Um, thank you. So currently right now, I work at a retail shop that sells Rick and Morty merchandise and Adult Swim merchandise. 
Oh, I know shit. the hook us up. Hot first of all, <laughs> hook us up. 20%. I, I can't topic. fucking get anything. So hook us up. <laughs> now now we're talking. Yes. We don't okay, even get it. So if I fold t shirts all day, I can sell pickle rick to anybody. You know, um right now, uh Justin seems to be um pitching like autism, which I think that's great. Um uh, mental health is very important. Um, so I've read emails between, um, my president of my retail company, because I used to be a supervisor going in between, um, exclusive drops between you guys, whenever, uh, episodes would drop like pickle Rick, the whole season three. So, um, as a supervisor, um, I used to be able to sell a thousand dollars worth this of is, you, merchandise. This, so hold on, you you called him for a contest that unfortunately Justin's running. We're not running. Art looks cool. Oh, okay. Um, I don't, you didn't tell us anything about this character, but he looks cool. I'm sure Justin could probably riff and make it pretty awesome. But we're no, out of time. But we're I at, we're out of time. Riff. Oh, let's oh, hear it. Sorry. Let's hear it. Riff on it. Oh, we still got a sign. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Just uh, like elevator pitch. Um, so Spaghetti Dad is again a retail boss. He is very overworked. Oh, I thought you meant like do you have a voice yeah. and a personality for it? Mm-hmm. I think you should just uh, oh, design. I mean, that's what we were talking about. I mean, like I I do have a voice in mine. It's just my boss. <laughs> oh shit! So that's. And I put your yeah. boss on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> have your boss. Call. We're running out. Of All right, we're done. Uh, we yeah, got to sign his money. All right, thank you. Good luck. I like the art. It's it's above me now. <laughs> All right. I think the I, look, I'm not going to even I don't think we have to do anything to t- we don't have to deliberate. We I, know I, so. I, I, just wanna, I just want to give officer underwear something. That's all that's all. Yeah, I'm and at. I think skeleton Man, landlord gets I, I lots. want to too, but unfortunately skeleton landlord is such a banger. <laughs> I it is. Officer $50. underwear is at $50 least at least for a pun. At least just $50. Give, just give her $50. $50. We can go all for right. a 50 50. Cam is mad. Yeah. Cam I'm not mad. mad. You guys do what you want. Get him some milk. Yeah. That's what. Like a that's pun's what worth Matt a nickel. People say. We need no, we need to share the wealth. We don't give the bag the all the time. The wealth is barely shared. A whole 50? It's a 50. whole 50. Yes. Yes. All right. Give her $50. Yeah, congratulations. There's more people in here than you two. Buy a nice, nice dinner. This is. Yeah, it's a solid dinner. Mm-hmm. That's true, but make sure you report it to your and in Atlanta. In Atlanta, that's a house. There you go. It's at fifty dollars. It's a home. Not anymore. <laughs> it was at one point. <laughs> that is like the daddest <laughs> thing. Hey, you can buy a house in Atlanta for fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the the daddest. Right. Cam, enough. did Lassa send you a song? No. Okay. Well, then we're out of here. Did not. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. It's how I feel all the time. I really like. Get it. your shit together next week, okay? Next week. <laughs> yeah, we were good. We're today. Dead ass. We we were great. You guys were all right. <laughs>